is called pivot, not the pivot. How you guys doing? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do certain things in Maya. Not like uh, I'm gonna show you my workflow or anything. I'm just gonna throw out random tips and tricks. Hopefully some of those might help you speed up your workflow. Let's get into the video, shall we? Without any further ado. Okay, the first thing is the um, markup menu. Okay, I'm gonna go straight into markup menu. In Maya, the markup menu is very advanced. You can customize them into your liking. Um, first thing is the uh, ship right click. Sorry, first thing should be the right click itself. Single right click will select all of the objects or complete the tool. I almost don't use this tool because you can, when you complete the tool, you can just hit W, oh sorry, Q to go back to the select tool it will snap out of the, the, the tool that you're using and go back to the select tool uh, ship right click is the marking menu for creating an object if you have nothing selected if you've got something selected ship right click it will be a different menu this thing is called I, I just made it up it's called object modifier marking menu brilliant okay so hold down shift right click drag down cube you can do it faster shift right click drag down almost instantaneously like this see that uh i actually bind uh, the ck for connect component for example i want to connect these two um verts hit C for connecting or if you want to create a line in between you can actually go to uh, multi-cut tool hit control and drop it in there I'm just gonna hit C to connect them when you select an object shift right click will be the um, object modifier like you can uh, combine stuff it's true do operations on the object level by the way, if you have an object on the scene, hitting right click on the object will be showing this menu, this marquee menu, which is changing from different modes to another one. And you can assign the uh, material here as well. Uh, I always go for right click, left drag, really quickly change to vertex mode. That is uh, that. And then when you select, um, say for example, the edge or any edge, you hit shift right click it will be a marking menu of the edge mode every mode has different marking menu so if you go to vertex mode it will be a different menu this menu is very context sensitive you can go and use this when when you uh, memorize the position of the uh, menu item you can do it uh, instantaneously and the next marking menu is the control right click and drag this is where you change from one selection mode into another so for example you want to change um, your selection from the vert into faces now control right click drag down drag down all the way it will convert that that selected vertex into the, all, all the surrounding faces and what I just did uh, a few minutes ago was um, I select an edge, go hit control, right click, drag all the way down to uh, 7 o'clock, edge ring. I do it real quick. If the marking menu item is going in a straight line, you don't have to go and wait for the menu to pop up. If you drag in the right direction, it will choose that item anyway like this okay and for you say for example just smoothen these edges and then i go and sharpen it now you go back to the menu you can see that it is forming a straight line with the former menu item so you can you just need to uh drag in the right in in the right direction straight so the next thing is going to be um the control shape right click menu 
is going to be where you go for symmetry. These are uh, gizmo orientation. By default, gizmo orientation is going to be world according to the world orientation. And you can change the component. See, see with world orientation, no matter what and where the uh, orientation of the object is, the, the gizmo is always pointing to the right direction with the world. If you change to our component, it will be regarding to the, um, the object. These are now the same, but at some cases, they can be different. And one other thing that you can go for in this menu, usually, is the button Reserve UVs. Let me just quickly open up the new UV data. By default, when you move the vertex or any component, the UV of that component doesn't change. But for some reason, usually after baking, you want to um, change certain look on the object surface, sorry. You want to have the, um, the UV move with the component too. So this is when you use preserve UV. Control shift, right click, right, drag down, preserve UV, check that box. And then this is when you, and then when you move, this happens. It will move with the uh, component on the scene. This is very useful. When you hit D, you go to uh, Gizmo Changing Mode. This this mode is is allowing you to uh, manipulate the Gizmo without touching the object. You can align the Gizmo onto the object surface like that, holding D to 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 to, to go to the uh, Gizmo Changing Mode, and hit V at the same time to activate Vertex Snapping. You drag the vertex, uh, sorry, the gizmo into any vertex, and it will stay there. But after that, um, say for example, if you mess up the 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 uh, gizmo, how do you change it back to its original position? Well, hit D, right click, and you will go to the gizmo um, marking menu. Almost anything in Maya has its own marking menu. Keep in mind that. You hit D, right click, the most used uh, option is the reset pivot. And by the way, this is actually a pivot, not a pivot. It's a pivot. <laughs> okay, D, you hit D, right click, and you can drag down to reset the pivot back to its original position. Okay, and you can just uh, reset the pivot uh, position. Say, for example, you just change the orientation of it, and if you want to reset the orientation, or you can reset the position without changing the orientation. Whichever way you prefer. But reset, pivot, this is what it does. And then the next thing is the multi cut tool. With the multi cut tool, you shift right click, drag to the left. Like uh, this. This is simple, right? You know the drill. You right click to confirm. And then you can draw another um, set of uh, lines. But you can also enter. But I find that right click is always faster. And then you got a function, which is you hold control and you drop in uh, a loop, an H loop, right? You can actually hit control, shift. It will snap to 50%. 40, 30, 20, 10% of the entire length of the edge. So this is 50%, so I'll just drop that. And if you if you go if you go out of the object, you draw from, from outside of the object in, you can create a cut that go through the entire object from back to front. Or you can do this. Click one, release the mouse, and then click the second point and then you can essentially pan around and then hit enter to confirm or you can click one and click the second one and then you can actually change it you can actually go and change it right and you hit shift to snap straight diagonal so I think uh, incremental values of 
15? Yeah. Yeah. This case is 15. This is 45. 15. Uh, yeah, I think so. I can't be wrong though. Oh, and another thing is that when you go multi cut, control shift drag up, it will go to quad draw to This is a more advanced function, which usually used for um, the topology in Maya. But you can use it freehand like this. I usually use this when I want to smooth things out. Like this, you can hit shift, drag, like in ZBrush. But this will mess up my mesh, so I'm not going to do it. Unless I really intend it to. I found out that you only need to, uh, say for example, you want uh, to move this edge in this way. You usually go to uh, transform component, right? You do this. Okay. But usually most of the time, all you need to do is just activate the move tool. Hit control, middle mouse drag. Easy. Say for this one, control, middle mouse drag. When you actually open up the translate tool, you'll see that there's an option for step snap. Uh, say for example, you want to move this object um, incrementally one centimeter. Uh, because my scene setup is a centimeter, all you, you usually do is you go to move uh, tool setup, uh, to, sorry, tool settings, and you turn on this step snap. But I, um, they usually have a shortcut for it by um, holding J. You can uh, toggle on and off the step snap, see that? And it will apply the step the snap value by this value. If you change it to 2, You turn it off and you hit J. By the way, hit J will actually toggle the option on and off. So if the option is actually on, you, you hit J, you turn it off. So it has to be off in order for you to hit J to activate it in the viewport. So I want to uh, rotate by uh, 90, sorry, 45 degrees clockwise, counterclockwise, like this. Hit J, rotate, easy. Uh, also, if you mess up your, your uh, translate, if you go this, and you actually accidentally freeze the transform, you see that um, axis there, this axis is actually X, you find this here, you hit 0, enter, you go back to the, the value on the grid. Now you have to actually freeze the transform again for, for the, um, the values to reset back. Sometimes you're working in symmetry and you sometimes work on one side and forgot that you you actually have turned off symmetry. Now there's a way you can get symmetry back is by um, you select the side that has whatever detail you want to symmetry to this side. You go to um, edit mesh and then symmetrize. You double click on the center loop. Sometimes you find that you want to snap and orient an object into another surface of another object. What you can do is you go um, modifier, snap to get a tool. Essentially hold V for the point to snap into the vertex. If you know there's a vertex here, you left click and then you left click into the middle point here. And then you enter, hit enter. When you do modeling, if you want to keep the orientation of the gizmo like this as long as possible because this is very convenient for you to just reposition or reorient uh, your object while you're modeling. This gizmo is very important but at times when you accidentally freeze the transform so you lost the orientation of the gizmo. So what you can do is you can go hit D, click align to align that into the um, the um, object. Um, so you want to select this uh, edge to edge ring and then con connect it to add the, an edge loop here and then go back to edit mode hit D, V and then snap into the vertex here at the center. Now what you want to do left is go modify back pivot 
Um, I hope you find this video helpful. I'm gonna do the second part, third part, maybe a few more, just to go through every single one, every single useful one, of course. If you got any idea or any comment, just leave it in the comment down below, and I hope to see you guys soon. Uh, see you next time.